Alright, so what is up guys, SDPZ here, and today we're back at you with another episode of Lampard's Lounge today. Now today we are going to be covering the Chelsea 3-0 win over Burnley, a very convincing win in the Premier League. A game I was actually a bit sceptical about uh, due to previous results against Burnley, and um, we just seem to struggle against them, and obviously we're, we seem to be struggling against smaller teams uh, this season, but it was a very convincing win, very promising, and very, I was very happy with the win, because we were actually brilliant all game. It's not like we sort of got lucky, like we, we sort of just played them out of the game, which was, it was nice to see. Um, it was also nice bearing in mind, obviously, that teams around us have maybe not picked up points this weekend. Um, so, say, we, we, Leicester was losing, uh, Spurs obviously losing, uh, United, I oh, know, obviously, they won and they are slowly catching, but obviously, with us winning as well, it's not too uh, important. And obviously, if Villa can get a result against City today, that would be top tier. But we're, we're, we're working our way up there, we're doing well, and uh, we're doing what everyone said we wouldn't do, and we're in the top four, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> So, in terms of the team sheets today, Chelsea gone with a 4-2-3-1. Um, I was actually a little bit sceptical about this team based only on the idea that Ross Barkley was playing um, uh, instead of Kovacic. Obviously, there was no Kante. I think he uh, had a slight hamstring issue in training yesterday. So, I was a bit sceptical uh, just because I don't like Ross Barkley in any way. A pretty terrible, in my opinion. Uh, but to be fair, he was okay in the game. Um, obviously, Jorginho, hudson Odoi, and Abraham getting the three goals. The first time in a while, I've, I've never really seen it. A team not making any substitutions. Chelsea didn't make one sub the whole game. Um, you don't see that from many teams, and you certainly don't see that from Chelsea. Normally, Lampard's quite keen on rotating players in and out fitness-wise. I was very surprised when I seen this. I've got to say, it, it did shock me a bit. So, Burnley coming at us with a 4-4-1-1. They obviously have a very nice team. Nick Pope, a uh, very good English goalkeeper. Uh, they've always had a good team, really, in the Premier League. Um... You know they're always going to be a tough team to play against. They always uh, Sean Dyche obviously sets them up well. Uh, they have good players, but one thing I did notice from the start, and I was very confident that Chelsea would win the game after seeing that Ashley Barnes was not in the team or on the bench. Now that guy, he always seems to cause Chelsea problems when we play against him. He literally just somehow always seems to mess our defenders' minds up or something, and we always they always make mistakes and concede goals, and he always scores. Um, so when I saw he was not on the team sheet or in the uh, subs at all. I was very happy to see that uh, because normally he causes us a lot of problems. So to see him not playing was definitely a positive um, for me straight from the start. Um, apart from that, obviously they play. They always play a good team. Uh, Aaron Lennon was actually quite good. Um, to be fair to him, um, and obviously, but they just they didn't they did just didn't quite have the team to compete with Chelsea on the day. We were just a lot better than them. Uh, we we sort of outplayed them in every position, uh, even though they do have obviously very good players. Uh, they just. I think we just outplayed them across the park and they struggled to keep up with the intensity of uh, football that we were playing. So on the positives and negatives, I don't actually have any negative from this game. I was actually really happy with the performance and especially the fast attacking play we were using. We were actually running at defenders, the players were trying to take players on rather than we just playing the sidewards pass, always looking for the perfect through ball, which obviously is very effective. Sometimes it does help tear teams apart, but the fast attack and running at players with confidence and just going at them and wanting to take them on was lovely to see, especially with hudson Odoi's confidence. Uh, it was just lovely. Like I've, I've obviously criticised him recently. Not criticised, he's playing well, but he doesn't seem to have the confidence he's had in previous seasons to attack defenders, run at them, take them on, put them on their heels and make them make mistakes. And he did to that. He was he was immense, really. He deserved the goal that he got. He was in a great position. He, he made a good run and obviously in the right area at the right time to score the goal. And just in general, he was taking players on. He put, put a lovely little flick over, I think it was Beardsley, uh, the fullback. Um, and just and ran round the sides of him. It was it's lovely. It's nice to see that he's attacking players again. He has full confidence. He's ready to go. It was just nice. I, I liked it a lot. Um, and obviously, Rhys James. I, I compliment that guy in every game he plays in. His crossing and once again was absolutely second to none. Uh, obviously for Tammy's goal and just in general, the balls he puts in are just are just fantastic. He constantly provides good crosses and good. Um, through balls for the players. He's always making those overlapping runs as a fullback, which he, he is fantastic, and I do love to see when he does that. Uh, like I said about Tammy's goal as well, uh, he's had a, a little bit of a dry spell, but he scored again. He's got the confidence back. I love to see it. Hopefully, he'll be banging in the goals in the future games. And obviously, the big positive is the clean sheet. Uh, we have struggled, obviously, recently and defensively. So to get a clean sheet against Burnley, a team that always seemed to nick a goal somewhere, was actually really, really promising. Uh, and I'm really happy with that. We, we were pretty solid defensively, uh, even though I did, obviously, with Christensen, I'm not his biggest fan. We were pretty solid. So I was pretty happy with the overall performance. Um, and I've got to say, it was a very good, composed Chelsea performance. 
So that is another episode of Lampard's Lounge down today. That is a very promising one, a 3 0 win against Burnley, a team I thought we may struggle against, especially at home. Our record hasn't been amazing, but that was hopefully something to work from, and we're going to go from this result and take and use some home form and start really pushing some results in. That'd be fantastic if we can do that, and I really do think that we can. So, looking forward to the next few games. But if you guys have enjoyed this, uh, please drop a like on the video. Show some support for this series as we are still going strong or half, over halfway into the season now. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new around here and hit that notification bell so, we are, so you can join the notification squad and always get the notifications to your phone at 6pm every single day when I upload. Thank you very much for watching and peace.